And talking about money and learning about money are the keys to financial success, or at least the way to avoid financial disaster. And this week, we're all supposed to be talking about money. It's Talk Money Week. I've been hearing one woman's story about how she coped with leaving care at 18, but then found herself in serious debt very quickly. My question started by telling me that her first introduction to the real world of money came as an 18-year-old student when she walked into her bank and straight away was offered a free overdraft of £1,500. My parents would give me pocket money, but never £1,500 of money that I never knew how to deal with. What was an overdraft? I just heard free money and I was like, yeah, let's go for it. What did you spend it on? I could not tell you. Honestly, I know I spent it once on like rent. And then other than that, I could not tell you what I spent that money on. When you were at school, were you taught about finance or money? No, you wasn't taught about anything. Like, I wish I was taught about money, finances, rent, council tax. I, wasn't, I wish I was taught about all of these things because then I would know how to have managed my money correctly. And w- what happened? You had this big overdraft. Did, did you have other debts as well? That was my first debt. Then I went into temporary accommodation. I wouldn't get help knowing what I was meant to be doing or gas and electric and all these things. So what had happened, I was accumulating debt without knowing. And then I had moved into three different temporary accommodations before I got my permanent flat. And once I moved into my permanent flat, I had to pay all of the temporary accommodation rent arrears plus my current flat I'm living in now. And that was the worst stress I've been in my life. I had I cried all the time. I would call my mom and I'd be like, they're trying to send bailiffs. I, I can't take it. I was very young, but I was already thinking of uh, bankruptcy. And how much did you owe originally? Like £5,000, £6,000 to different things. Like £1,500 was definitely the bank. The rest was like rent arrears, council tax arrears, gas and electric arrears. So what was the most important help that you got? There was a course called My Bank, and I didn't want to tune in, if I'm honest with you. And then as soon as he started talking about debt and getting out of debt and learning how to manage money and what a credit score, my ears just spiked up. I was like, hello, I'm listening. <laughs> like, literally, it was the most amazing thing I'd ever like listened to in my life. So it actually helped you for the first time, really, understand about money and how you could manage it. Exactly. Like, especially to do with how to understand your incomings and outgoings and how to think of, oh, what's a rainy day fund? Like, actually learning about what money is, like learning the importance of money and being able to manage that money in a way that is correct to yourself. You don't just spend to spend sake, like, you, you put it in a ranking, what's important, what's least important. And what changes do you think would help other young people who are perhaps in, in the position you were in then? I genuinely think, first of all, asking questions is a major part of it. And don't feel embarrassed. I genuinely believe schools need to be teaching young people, I think, where they start to get pocket money and learn to manage it and maybe put some pocket money aside. You never know what you're going to need. I want teachers to be teaching about rent, credit score, because once you get into the adult world, you get help, but you're more so on your own than you think. Nikwisha's story, and after that help from the charity My Bank, her debt is down to £1,000 and she's paying some of it off each month. She's also saving, not just for that rainy day, but towards her ambition of buying a house and starting a business.